Welcome to episode 14 of Let's Play FTB Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. <clears throat> and we left the last episode carrying straight on here. We're somewhat blocked by Signalum. And Signalum is an alloy which is somewhat similar to um, Enderium, if you're used to seeing Enderium. It was made in much the same way, so we need to get on with making the machines to make it. And I did mention last episode, one of the, the primary machines we need is the Magma Crucible. And there is an alternate way of making it through the smeltery, but it requires making another material, which I don't want to actually make at the moment. So, let's get on with some of these things. We need a machine frame, which I've already got. It's a reception coil, which is straightforward. We just need a couple of in-bar gears, a couple of nether brick, and one of these uh, frames again. So, let's just grab some stuff, shall we? Um, we want, let's just get us a stack of redstone and we want some lead uh, let's just get four of, whoa I don't exactly need one stack there I just need four, I think, of lead do we have any invar? that's going to be useful yeah, we're going to need eight of those uh, some glass I'm somewhat short on glass hmm Let's make some sand then. Well, get some sand. Okay, let's get this going then. Sand? Come on, sand! There you are. So, let's get the sand cooking up. And I've got some here. That was useful. Okay, so, so let's make that up. Uh, we want the redstone block, first of all. And we're getting somewhat used to making these, so hopefully I remember the right way around. Yep, there we go. And two nether brick in our gears, and we want one piece of gold. Let's grab a piece of gold and make you. And in our gears, I don't know whether I have any Invar gears already. No, I've got a bronze one. Okay, so let's make the invar. I've got some ardite in here, which I need to drain first. In fact, that shouldn't actually make any difference to the invar, so that will be fine while that melts down. So while this is going, I should kind of describe what we're actually aiming for. We are still aiming for that nano helmet. You see I've got the jetpack here, but we don't have the, uh, the helmet piece. And it requires a whole bunch of stuff that... Um, <laughs> It was too tight to fit in at the end of the episode. We were on 35 minute mark anyway, and yeah, we kind of needed to get going, so... Uh, we'll get into this episode fairly quickly, I should imagine. That's some Ardite. We're going to need that later. Uh, I've got some plans for Signalum in terms of Tinker's Tools as well. Spoilers! Invar. So, I just want the gear cast. Let's put you in, and let's make a couple of gears while we start. That's one, and do we have any nether brick? Hopefully I do. Yeah, so let's just get two of you. And get the second gear. And the nether brick. So this will make a magma crucible, and the magma crucible is a very, very useful uh, machine. Yes, I'm wasting energy by having this connected up, in case you are really, really eagle-eyed. But I don't care for the moment. I've got passive power gen now, so I'm not, not as concerned. Let's just make this, and I've got the machine frame in the box still. So the Magma Crucible basically melts certain dusts into their equivalent... Let me get two of those, actually. Into their equivalent uh, liquid. And typically by endgame, you'll have at least three sets of these two machines that we're about to make. Uh, whoops. Three sets. So you, we're going to have the Magma Crucible, which is one machine, and the other, the corresponding machine is called a Fluid Transposer. Not the Gluid, the Fluid. And all this one does, it basically dumps whatever you want into buckets. So we're going to need a bucket, some copper gears, and another one of those red some reception coils. Fine, so let's get another piece of gold, and a copper... Melt the copper down while this gets started. And we'll make the gears from that. So yes, the fluid transpose, all it does is dump whatever liquid it is you make in the magma crucible into something. And by end game, you've got th up to three sets, as I said. One will be for uh, Enderium, which is green and is made from enderpearls. 
It's also very useful for um, tools uh, of the Tinkers variety, uh, but it's mainly the, the mine tools and stuff like that. Whereas Signalum, which is the second one, you make with redstone. And there are other reasons than making Signalum for having destabilized redstone, which is the actual liquid in this case. So you have liquid and dirium, destabilized redstone. And the third one is, I think, energized glowstone, I want to say. Uh, energized glowstone bucket, yeah, there we go, so magma crucible again. And this one is generally made for things that emit light or really burn, <laughs> if I remember rightly. Um, yeah, they're not exactly the, the safest ones in the world. Uh, it also pools on the ceiling instead of pooling on the floor. It's, it's weird reverse gravity and it's kind of cool. So, uh, let's get this second cop copper gear. No, well, first copper gear, and then a second one. And there we go. Uh, I think the rest was just glass and... Uh, let's see. Fluid. Transposer. Yeah, I'm short a bucket, but that's fine. I'm going to need a bucket in a second. So... The way we typically configure these is uh, like this. And if we set the output to be on the right, I don't care about any of these. But let's get rid of that. Output to the right, it's going to build up RF. Uh, and we're just going to ignore. Yeah. And then this one is going to input from the left, which is what the blue side is for. And generally you load a bucket in here. So, do I have another bucket available? Do I have another bucket available? <laughs> oh, really? Come on. I could have sworn I had... I run out of them so quickly. Fine, let's put some iron plates on. Three of. And what we should also have up here is... Uh, let's just make the plates. Not the compressor, the macerator. We need copper and silver. This is these are the other two ingredients for the um, the signalum, apart from the destabilized redstone, which we're going to get in the bucket in shortly. Uh, yeah, so those are on build. By the way, if you're out in the back of the world, do look for these. So they're on slime islands, um, which are floating green islands all over the world. They're going to be useful for the advanced Tinkers tools, uh, particularly the fletchings is what we want, but we'll come back to that in a little bit later in the episode. There we go. Uh, I think I've occupied all, nearly all of these crafting uh, grids with various ingredients, uh, just to get that helmet, so we're about to get that shortly. So what we're going to do is put a bit of uh, redstone in here. We don't generally need all that much. It will then get loaded into this side, and we'll, get, we'll fill up this bucket as soon as it's got enough, and that is it's probably going to be 10 pieces. Let's see just how far that's got, so let's try a couple more. I think it's 100 milli buckets. Yeah, it is. It's 100 milli buckets. So we've got this table of redstone now, and if we get uh, some of this, we should be able to make our first signalum, hopefully. So it's three copper to one silver. It's kind of similar to bronze in that way. With Disabilize Redstone, get Signal and Blend. We got our bucket back. Thank you very much. And we should be able to get to a furnace where we are able to cook it up. So if you think about it once you get the machines, it's quite cheap to make Signal and versus, um, you know, copper and, and silver, etc. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, we only really need one of the Signal to start with. But, you know, okay. Because we need to make nuggets. And the point of the nuggets are that they are used if we just uh, click on this, press U, see the uses. We need to make basic capacitors for Ender I.O. They are kind of the starting point in Ender I.O. anyway, so, you know, getting Signalum means getting through thermal expansion to, in order to get to Ender I.O. at all, really. So these are very useful. So we need to make uh, at least a couple of those. So that's eight uh, nuggets, which we've got. A couple of redstone chipsets and some lapis electron tubes. So let's just get a couple of... In fact, we need four of these, I think. Was it? Oh, we'll come back to the recipe in a minute. 
And it's night time. I should sleep through, but let's just get this out of the way. I need the Thermionic Fabricator. With this recipe, gets us four lapis electron tubes. Put those into the middle. We want the Signalomer on the outside. And what was the corners? That. Gets us two basic capacitors. And these should have quite a fair number of uses. Yeah, I mean, lots of, of stuff. One of which, the thing that we need, is the advanced circuit. So here we need four more of the redstone chipsets, an electronic circuit, and two intricate circuit boards. And this is the carpenter with gold. So I may already have some gold in there, but let's see. Yeah, I already do. And we just need some water. I probably will probably make a dedicated carpenter one of these days loaded with water. The other uses for it, I think, I'm almost sure is sort of like the apple juice kind of presser way of producing things. And uh, we'll we'll come back to that one as well. So don't worry, we'll, we'll get to, the, to there probably after we get to tree farms and stuff like that. Because uh, if you get the right sapling, you can make a tree farm that makes apples, and then you can use the apples for other purposes. Um, have I got enough? Have I got? Oh, I'm short on redstone. That's why. Go. Right, where were we? So yes, uses for the. Yeah. So if I'm not in that mode. Uses of the basic capacitor is the advanced circuit. Doesn't matter which way around you've got them. So we need those two circuit boards and a basic electronic circuit. Do we have any of those? Uh, it doesn't show up any, but I might have some in the bag, maybe. No, okay. Fine, we'll make one. Uh, in fact, let's have a look. I've got a number of these set out. I did it at the end of the last episode thinking, yeah, we'll just use those, it'll be fine. And then, yeah, no, I didn't create any extra. Okay, so we got to these. I just need some redstone and a couple of iron plates should do it. Which should be very, very quick. One, two, run back. I begin to regret that my input chest wasn't down here, <laughs> down here at this point. Uh, iron chest, iron ingots. That's fine, make me some plates, please. In fact, just one should do it, I think. Yeah, let's take you. Ah, I already made some of them. Well... <sighs> oh well. So we got the advanced circuit, so let's take a look at the nano armor. What are we missing? Well, I actually get the spelling right. Nana suit even. So we need the night vision goggles, so we got a bunch of different things from here. Luminators, all straightforward stuff, iron item casings. Reinforced glass was that truly one we had to make the advanced alloy, if you remember. So if I... Uh, we need two of these, actually, so let me just grab one of them. I'll need to come back for another one. Where was my... Where was my advanced alloy? There we go. So let's just grab some of you. Uh, so I'm going to need another one of the heat exchangers, which I wonder if I've got those in one of these crafting grids as well. I do need this one. That's an advanced RE battery. No, it doesn't look like I have them stored. Fine, so let's make another one. We've got one of these advanced heat exchangers. We just need another one. Which is lapis lazuli plates, uh, electronic circuits, copper plates. I really should have some of those, uh, at least. No, I really don't. Wow. Okay. Let's make those then. Yeah, so lapis lazuli dust uh, and... To electronic circuits. Fine, so let's just make the cir uh, an extra circuit or two. Let's get you back. 
and we want something like this with our iron plate. It's one and the other iron plate should be cooking up. Here you go. And we're back. Right, two electronic circuits. And we needed some lapis lazuli dust. Which we have some of. I had to make plenty of that. We just need four of that in the compressor. And then I think it's a copper plate, was it? Yeah, it's a copper plate and heat exchangers with regular electronic circuits as well. So copper and tin plates. Uh, and while that cooks up, I'm going to do the rest off camera. All right, so that's all crafted and we can now get a couple of heat exchangers. Turn around, I did actually have the other components that were in this one. I have too many of these things. Um, to get another advanced one, and we can take the advanced one, and which one did I store this in now? There we go. Advanced, and we get the night vision goggles. We can turn around and get those, and then go back to wherever the final thing is. And we get the nano suit helmet, finally. So that should now be able to charge. Yep, that's probably going to dump at least a quarter of this out. So we got the final bit of our armor. So that's the first half of the episode. Second half, now we've got Signalum. Yeah, there are, there are a few sneaky things we can do with it. Um, let me just load up some more redstone for some more of it. Even though I've got some in the crew in the smeltery. Uh, why is there some of you in there? Uh, let's get some more redstone. Yeah, I'm not running short. Let's grab another stack. Only downside to this versus A is that you have to wait a little bit. Not too much of an issue. I think I've got six in here, so four more. One, two, three, four. That should load. And then we can then make this somewhere. We should get another four blend, and we can put this in here. There we go. So what we're going to need to do is get some aluminium brass, assuming I've got some left, which I appear to have, which is good. And we're going to dump that in there as well. I'm going to make a new cast. Now, do I have the cast around here? I want the... We're going to be making a crossbow, and... So we're going to need the crossbow body, which is a new stencil. And we're going to make a cast, so we're going to need to make that out of stone. Wow. <laughs> Only downside of a dev note. It's harder to get stuff out of. And in fact, that may even be smooth stone. Let's give this a go. No, just, uh, was it four? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be making a cast with this. And we want to make sure it's not signal on first. It's multiple aluminium. And there's the cast. Get rid of you for the moment. And we want to make this part out of signalum. So the fact we've already got this in here will help, assuming that I've got enough. Let's see how many ingots it takes. It may even be four, it may need even more. It's certainly empty, and that is not filling yet. That's over halfway full, though, so maybe a couple more should do it. We'll see if one more does it. If not, then I'm going to need even more signal. So let's, <laughs> let's cook that up. It may, uh, may be okay. Let's see. Um, let's load the bucket in here and get things ready. Three more of you. Now, I've said before, but Signalum is the highest tier of stuff for this. As far as I know, if you have any comments and you want to disagree, this is probably a really uh, interesting point to disagree at. Uh, everyone has their own opinions about Tinker Stools, so let's get that one out of the way. Um, there's only one ingot there, so let's pour that. And that's enough. 
There we go. So that's the first part of the crossbow. Good. There are three other parts, I think. Yeah, I think there are three other parts. If I remember right, there's a binding and there's a crossbow. Oh, no, have I made the wrong thing? Oh, that's annoying. I wanted to make the limb, not the body. Well, good job I've made more of that. We do, we do actually need this, but it needs to be thormium, I think. Or paper. Um, paper perhaps a little bit better as an option to put more modifiers on it. Okay, so we got that cast. Fine. We do actually need the other cast, which is the... Is that the crossbow limb? Yeah, there we go. We want that one. I guess I've got a spare... Uh, Unless I've already made this as a... No, it's a pickaxe head. Fine. So let's put that down. Multiple aluminium brass. Let's make the cast. And just shove you in there. Now we want the signal in here. Uh, so let's cook some of that up and get some more. Thankfully I made enough uh, of this for several batches. So we can get this going. Does not take long to fill these things. Uh, where's the bucket gone? There we go. Uh, while that's cooking, we also want thormium, which I'll do off camera. But the other thing that we need, and it's something you may or may not have, depending on whether you've been to the nether, is flame string. And it drops from... Let me get a few of these just in case. I'm not sure how many it takes to make the actual item. It drops from those spiders in the nether, the, the ones that are really annoying, that split into multiple uh, multiple spiders when you kill them, and they split into multiple spiders, depending on how big the original one was. It can be really quite annoying. Um, so yeah, you, if you don't have that, just you can use regular string, I suppose. But this will just help make this up. And let's dump you in here as well. The only thing that requires signal really is the limb. I just accidentally made the body, so that's fine. So we've got the ingredient for the bowstring. Well, that can be not discarded, but I don't need it at the moment. Right, we've got the limb. We now need thormium and paper. So uh, I could make two thormium. I could make thormium paper. Let's let's uh, make thormium. I'm going to go and do that off camera because you've seen me make thormium before, and I'll be right back once I've got enough. So I may have cheaped out a little bit and gone with paper instead of thorium for everything. But I've got the bowstring, which comes from this flame string, three of. Uh, thorium it needs five of for the body. Uh, where's the crossbow? Oops, if I actually select the right thing. There we go. Paper tough binding. Signal and crossbow limb. Thormium crossbow body. And fiery bowstring. Let's see what this makes. So signalum crossbow. Um, let's look at the stats. So it has 11 attack damage by default, and my sword has 27 attack damage. Okay, um, that's a good start. Has writable, has thormic, and reinforced one. So let's grab you. And that looks pretty cool. And you'll see this huge box in the middle of the screen. Um, Nothing really happens at the moment because we don't really have any bolts, and that's the next bit. But we probably should put some modifiers on it anyway. Um, yeah. The only one I want to make sure of is perhaps the auto repair, so we should probably put some moss on here. I've got some. Uh, let's get nine of you. And quartz? Is it, is it going to be quartz for this one? Well, I've got this. We'll, we'll see whether the, this still works, whether it was actually a bug and was fixed. I'm um, not sure if you remember, but when I created my sword, you could use uh, the, the other type of quartz, the Certus quartz, to get really over the top on the, in terms of the, um, uh, the sharpness buff. I think it's the sharpness buff. We'll see shortly. Did I? I thought I'd ordered that. Did I not? Quartz. So it's quartz. Gimme. Charge says quartz. Ah, okay. 
fine, you're just a bit uh, late, that's all. Right, so how many modifiers do we have when we start off? We've got five, so we should have quite a bit of room to play. Moss, so let's take you auto repair. Uh, let's start out with the nether quartz. So that's going to give you quartz buff. Is that the one I actually want, though? Let's have a look in the... Is it in the Tinker's Weaponry? No, wrong book. Modifiers. Emerald is resilience, speed, auto repair, auto smelt, sharpness. It is. Yeah, so that increases the attack damage. Let's see what this does. And it may just be that I filled this with quartz now, but we'll we'll actually see on this one. So, four modifiers remaining. Do you still... Yep, so one single piece of Certus Quartz still adds a ton of sharpness. And we're up to 14 attack damage. So that was just one sharpness, and we've got three modifiers remaining before I add any extra ones. So, hmm... Well, let's leave it at that for now, because we can always come back and add more later. I probably will add more attack damage to it, because I want it to be kind of level with this if I'm going to use it. And you can also remember, I think this attack damage... Hmm. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments here. I think this attack damage is the melee attack damage if I hit people with it like this. So if this can take over from my sword and shoot bolt bolts as well, that will be great. So the bolts then, what do we need to do for that? Well, the bolts, if I remember rightly, I'm going to need some leaves and slime leaves. So that is the reason why I went and got those. Uh, yeah, let's just get, get what we can of that. I think I may have some others or not. I'll have to get more if not. So slime leaves and we wanted... Um, well, the best kind is Enderium, uh, on top of Manulin, I think. And I can certainly make the Manulin. How many of this have I got left? That's four ingots. Let's grab you, put you back. Oh, I'm getting a bit of lag there. That's aluminium brass. Wow. <laughs> Don't want aluminium brass. So I'm going to get one Ardite and one Cobalt. And we're going to use that to make a Manulin tool rod. Which should not take very long. Once I've got this out. That's the last bit. And then I've just got aluminium. Uh, I've already got the tool rod here, so I can probably put this cast back in. Put you in there. They're very, very similar signal element uh, Ardite. And just pour out the brass. Because I shouldn't need that anymore. And uh, we want the tool rod cast, so you can go in there. And then we're going to need Enderium. And can I actually make Enderium yet? This is going to be interesting. So if I can't, we can always make other bolts that are temporary. They're just not going to be as good. Um, Enderium, Enderium, Enderium. Pyrothium, dust, sulfur, electrotine, blaze powder, I should have that. Enderium blend is resin ender. And it's going to be four enderium ender pearls. And I think I only have four ender pearls <laughs> total. <laughs> yep, I better not get this wrong. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. I'm going to cook those up and get a bucket of that out. I also need... what was the other things for it? Uh, Enderium Blend. I need shiny metal. Which is going to be... wow. Yeah, I may need... I may leave this till the next episode. I need to get this out of something, if I remember rightly. Platinum ore. 
I have not seen Platinum or Shiny or anywhere so far. So I may have to go and mine that up. So yeah, I may leave this, leave this here like we'd left Enderium at the end of the last episode. It is somewhat of a cliffhanger. I've now got a bucket that I can't use until, uh, until I find that metal. Let me just put you in here. So we've started on our top tier range weapon. We've got an actual helmet somewhere. There we go. Uh, do you give me, um, I wonder, do you give me any kind of night vision? Ah, oh, I need somewhere that's dark. <laughs> hey, yeah, sun setting, sun setting. Yeah, I don't see any difference there. Well, it may only work underground. Never mind, if it doesn't give me night vision, I'm not too terribly worried. There are plenty of ways to get that with later... Um, later parts to Blood Magic, certainly, I think. Yeah, so this is the way we can get all the leaves we need, along with some slimy saplings, and plenty of slime balls, and just replant these as you need to. So that's been this episode, and we got to the half an hour mark, I think, just about. And next episode, in fact, we can make this uh, manulin. I think it's manulin already. Yeah. Make a tool rod. And we'll see. I may be able to make something temporary. Um, and then we'll come back to that one once I've got more. Anyway, hope to see you next episode where we're probably going to complete this whole setup. And uh, then we're going to go hunting wabbit. Um, not wabbits. Uh, we're going to go hunting other large things. I kind of like to go to the end, but I have no way back without doing RF tools or or some other dimension hopping tools. So yeah, we'll have to see on that one as to whether we do it. I may just port this around for a while and shoot things with it, which should be pretty amazing once we've got everything running. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next episode.